Good day to everyone. I'm Mad and welcome to another video here at Maid Farms. For today's video, we will talk about swales. For today's video, we will show you how we passively harvest rainwater in our systems. We use swales. Swales are ditches on contour. So here's an example of a terrain on contour. By marking the land using A-frame levels, you can dig ditches that follow the contour of the terrain. They're just simple canals or ditches that are contoured with the landscape. This prevents water from er running or eroding the topsoil in our farm. The soil you will get from the swale or the canal you dug can be placed on the side and serve as a berm. So when it rains and the water accumulates on the canal or the swale, the berm will prevent the water from eroding the soil. The water will also slowly percolate, keeping the moisture level in the swale high. Later, we will show you swales in action by simply contouring the ditches or shaping the land on contour, you can harvest rainwater with ease. As you start harvesting rainwater using the swale, you can now plant ground cover together with our legumes and in between our fruit trees. So here's an example of our swale in action. So as you can see, it's passively harvesting rainwater by allowing it to run through the contours of the land. We also planted ground cover together with our nitrogen fixers, our herbs, and in between are our fruit trees. So as the soil slowly accumulates moisture, our fruit trees and our nitrogen fixers are irrigated passively. an example of a swale we made when we started the farm. Even before starting or planting the first seedling, we started earthworks to make sure that all our plants here are passively irrigated or passively collects rainwater. So the swale is about a foot deep and two feet wide and it has a berm on the side. So we place dried grass and mulching material on our swales because here in the tropics, it's too hot. So if we just allow our water to be under the sun, it will just evaporate and we'll just lose water. So to prevent that, we put mulch in our swales so that the water will stay there for, long, for a longer period. This is an example of a swale we made. So here is a, here's a swale. It's filled with water, as you can see. And on the berm, we planted the papaya. But the papaya doesn't like wet feet. So how do we, how do we prevent the papaya from not fruiting or from not um, liking the conditions of having wet feet? So we put mulch on our swale. So the mulch will act as a sponge. It serves as a buffer, so it will slowly percolate the water on the roots of the papaya. This is another rainwater harvesting technique that we use in our farm. So in our future videos, we'll show you how we make our ponds here, our natural ponds here, without using any pond liner or without using any concrete to prevent the water from draining. So we're just using the natural ability of clay soil to hold water. You can also see our bees here drinking on the kangkong floating on our ponds. Again, thank you for watching our videos to learn more about swales or how we harvest rainwater here in the farm. Subscribe to my channel Madodol or add us on Facebook, Modular Aquaponics. See you in the next videos.